Let's check in for 13 for Chief Meteorologist Brian Schofield. Are there going to be many places that we can escape the heat? <laughs> uh, right. And heat's only the, like one half of our story. We have the other half is the wind. I mean, you want to know how long that's going to last. Look at those trees moving around. There might be a little another story with some of those clouds that look a little thick at times there. But essentially, it's heat and wind. And will that last through the weekend? Yes and no. We'll get some more heat for the weekend, but probably not the wind. But before then... A little bit of a cool down to start off the weekend. Won't that be nice? And I say the weekend, I'm stretching out to maybe three or four days for a lot of you folks. So set up is this. Look at all those triple digits. Your eyeballs are just going to pop out of here. Look at that. 97 Henderson, the lone holdout. I just I just don't believe it. UNLV 100. Uh, we've already hit 102. Right now we're looking at 100 at McCarran. So those are some impressive numbers, but so close, not quite to a record. We told you we'd be in the realm, I guess. We, we don't expect to hit 105. Don't think that's going to happen, but either way, uh, you know, we're not at the end of the day for the official high temperature, but so far that's what it's looking like. That'll be right around 102, so uh, very close there, but I think most other areas will not even be close to record, especially the next few days. We're not talking about record setting heat at all, but so far our 24-hour temperature change is really all over the board. Uh, maybe a little cooler in Henderson by about a degree, but other areas, maybe anywhere from a goose egg just about the same as this time yesterday to five degrees warmer than this time yesterday in Boulder City and Nellis Air Force Base. So interesting to see the numbers have just inched up and inched up and these numbers have really shot up. Look at that North Las Vegas 30 mile an hour gust all the way up to Henderson with almost 40 mile per hour gust and it would not surprise me if before the end of the evening we pop in with a 40 mile per hour gust and maybe a few areas but so far this is the way it started. We told you we wouldn't start off the morning gusty but we'll probably lead into the remainder of the evening this way. So plan on that. And there's that cloud cover, and then you can see to the north, some of that, let's say central Nye County, parts of northern Lincoln County, generating maybe a few light showers, but computer models mostly keep it out of our area. You can kind of see it stays in Lincoln County. So there's something to that, just not much dragging through here. The lower levels are really dry, and obviously we're really warm as well. Tomorrow, not as warm. How does that sound? I can't say it's cooler. Well, I can, but not as warm sounds. Uh, it's probably just more accurate there. 15, 25 mile per hour sustained winds for tomorrow, so still windy. By Friday, we're breezy. Temperatures on the weekend once again start off in the lower 90s, get to the upper 90s. So a cooler weekend than today, but not necessarily a cool weekend. Don't want to uh, underplay that. I'll tell you that. Don't overdo it because this heat can sneak up on you. If you have guests in from out of town, maybe they aren't used to this kind of heat. We'll have a lot of people in from out of town. Ooh, you might want to let them know that, yeah, this can get uh, pretty stifling. You know, you walk down the strip and you think that building's very close by, that casino. No, no, no. It's a, it could be a mile away and it looks so close, right? And in this intense heat and all that blacktop and all the cement, boy, it can really get to you. So keep that in mind for the entire weekend. And even into early next week, we will still be getting to and flirting with. Look at that, 100 degrees still. We're not done with it yet. All right, back to you, Carla. All right, thank you.